Now, when you have a true rational exponent, you have a true fraction here. You, in other words, the number in the numerator is actually a number rather than just one. What that means is the b is still your index and the a is your exponent. And it doesn't matter which way you do it. What I mean by that, if I have 64 to the 2 thirds power, let me blow this up because I'm going to do it two different ways and you can determine which one you like, is I could do the cube root of 64 and then I'm going to square that. Let's do that. The cube root of 64, well, what goes into 64? That will be 4, won't it? It will be the cube root of 4 times the cube root of 16. And the cube root of 16 is the cube root of 4 times the cube root of 4. So in other words, I've got the cube root of 4 And then I'm going to cube that because I'm doing it three times. And then I'm going to take that whole thing and I'm going to square it. Well, the cube root of 4 times the cube root, they undo each other. So it's 4 squared, which is 16. I prefer to do this way. I like to do the cube root first. I like to do my root first because I work with smaller numbers. However, you could do it backwards. The order doesn't matter. So I could also write this as the cube root, whoops, I don't like red, change colors here. I have the cube root of 64 squared. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 64, I'm going to square that. We'll use our calculator for that. So I take 64, ba -ba -ba -ba, if it'll ever work, shoulders up there, 64, whoops, 64, whoops, my 6 isn't showing up. Now I got 46, wow, sorry about that. 64, and I'm going to square it. And 64 squared is 4,096. So I'm going to get 4,096. And that's the issue I have. Now I got to take the cube root of 4,096. That's kind of a big number, isn't it? Well, let's do it. So I know it'll be the cube root of 2. Let's take 4,096 divided by 2. Whoops, I didn't, there we go. So 4,096 divided by 2 gives me 2,048. And then that will be the cube root of 2, and I'll divide by 2 again. So 2,048 divided by 2 is 1,024. That's still even, so I keep on dividing. The cube root of 1, or 2 times the cube root of 1,524 is 512 times the cube root of 512. I get the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 256. Break that down. Cube root of 2 times the cube root of 128. Again, the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 64. Oh. I know the cube root of 64, but I think I'm going to keep on going in case you don't recognize that. So that'll be the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 32. The cube root of 2, of 3, of 2 times the cube root of 16. Now I know that one because I already did it right here. So now let's count our cube roots. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven. Ah. See if I miscounted there. Oh, I did miscount. I missed one. And eight. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I gotta keep on going. I don't have the cube root of 16 yet. Okay. So let's do one more. Cube root of two times the cube root of eight. And then the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 4. Finally, we get the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 2. So now, let's count them. So I've got 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I can write this as 2 is the cube root of 2 to the 12th. If I write that as a fraction, that would be 2 to the 3 twelfths, wouldn't it? Except I did it backwards. Twelve was my exponent, so twelve over three. And twelve over three is four, and two to the fourth power is sixteen. You get the same answer. Obviously, I like the first one; it's shorter. I like to make my numbers smaller to begin with, but you'll get the same answer no matter how you do it. That's what I'm trying to show you. Out. Let's do another one. This one I'll just do it one way. We're going to take. 36 to the 3 halves power. Well, what does that mean? That means the index is 2, so I don't have to write it. So it means the square root of 36, and then I'm going to cube that. Well, the square root of 36 is 6. I cube that. I do believe that is 108. But let's show that on the calculator just to make sure. So if I take 6 to the third power, Oh, I was wrong. It's 216. It was off by 1. Yeah, 36 times 6 would be 216. There we go.